This is Mofo See That, and welcome to the video review of Transformers Generations Wheeljack. Very nice. Huh, so let's see heels. So, sports car. He doesn't have any of his logo, his sponsor stickers, but that's alright. There's his track. Mm. Whatever. And let's read the bio. Wheeljack is a brilliant risk taker, both in the lab and on the road. His inventions are both the cause and of and solution to many problems as he pushes the boundaries of science and engineering in his quest for the next big thing. Due to the daring nature of his experiments, his lab needs to remain isolated. Mostly because it blows up on a regular basis. <laughs> Dude, this sounds way more hilarious than Wheeljack ever did on the G1 series. He didn't blow out a lot of it. He just screwed stuff up, but he fixed it. But that was very, very funny. Let's see here. Which size should I open? I'll open this. So, this is a retool of. Retool, recolor of tracks, which has not shown up in my area yet, so. Meh. Holy crap, this is a long tape. What the hell? There we go. Okay, so let's get this guy open up. Okay. You, you, come on. Oh, yes. So, so far, this is the only recent generations of this year, seeing as Puppy Spurs were supposed to come earlier, but my Walmart sucks at selling stuff. Um, and here we have the instructions for Wheeljack. It's very nice, just double fold. Very nice for your eyes. So let's get this. Let's get his wrenches out. Now I wonder why they weren't twisty tied because of that. Holy crap! I could have lost them right there. So they could be his. Oh, I don't know about traps, but since it looks. Oh, maybe if they painted it silver, maybe it would look more like wrenches, but these are kind of weird ass wrenches with the uh, guns on them, so uh, yeah. And, ooh, this looks relatively not simple. God damn it. down there for a bit, I just, come on now, come on now, yeah, yeah, come on now, come on, Uh, oh, yes, plastic bands on Damn. Why do they even put these plastic bands on them? 
See, I just don't get it. All it's ever done was to annoy me. Oh, that is really gonna be a bitch to get out, ain't it? So, just let me see right now where can I put these? Maybe clips on here. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. Hey, but if it doesn't even really plug in here, I'll fix it later when I read the instructions. But so far, so right. So, so far. Far right now, first impressions. This looks kind of like his um, down shifts, Energon John Shifts, or Super Link's Rojack's paint scheme. This also reminds me of the cartoon. Uh, but I forgot which one was more cartoon accurate this one or the Takata release. Well, as far as I can tell here, and now the wheels are even as mesh transform. Got to fix that later. Okay, so paint apps, it's kind of good, but they don't extend all the way like they're supposed to. But okay, that's all right. That's all right. This is painting very. Wait, let me. Very thin coat of silver. And then this this doesn't you have space for a license plate. Oh well. Hmm. This is interesting. All right. This is. Stay tuned for the review of the Cybertronian scientist. And here we have Transformers Generations Real Jack. So here he is. He's a remold from um tracks. Here a remold the remolded fender. It's more it's like it's gonna kill someone. And it's a different color scheme from um his G1 counterpart. It's a bit nice. It's like revamp. And here is his exhaust pipes on the side are supposed to be, aka his wrenches, which don't really look like wrenches because it's very stupid design, but whatever. So, oh shit. Here we have the back and the underside and so let's get started transforming this guy let's do this so pop this down and boom shakalaka you already got the feet done now it's your choice to like move these up or just keep them where are they at where are they at oh gosh and just push the legs down all the way as you can. Then pull off the doors, which will eventually come the wings. And then the hood, you push it up. And then the arms detach. And then you get the weapons. This little side missile. And you just push up this to connect it with this back. Push it out, then just get his wings lined up. And pretty good that they're different from tracks, because tracks, like, I just push out his. Just put the wheels outward, then down and out. And turn his hands, turn his arm, down that arm hand and then you can push out his head and chest to expand it a bit more 
then you can push the angle them upward and then angle it however you want to set them in and then right here push it in to connect and now you have the guns and you have the wrenches And here you have everyone's favorite mad scientist. That's He's a tad short. I mean, in the cartoon, he was roughly around Prime's height. Roughly, I can't remember. But it's weird that Hasbro, the... They modded his legs so he, he can't go all the way down like Trax does. So Trax is taller than him. And I can't, I don't know this because I don't actually own a Bumblebee with you guys. I think he's like around the same height as Bumblebee. I'm not sure, but Bumblebee is supposed to be the shortest, so scale doesn't really go that well. So. Yeah. It's a little. But I like the way that they reverse the feet on them. So the tracks would be. His feet would be out like this. And so they modded the heels. Get these straight down. The head sculpt is very. Nice, even though the eyes are like really, really um, clear. They're clearer, but because they're like really small and narrow, and because all the black inside just looks like it's a dark, dark color instead of just the clear. Because just like Scourge, along with his eyes. The back of his head and the small antennae are made of this cloudy, grayish-purple plastic. But seriously, the leg, the bottom portion kind of looks a bit off because of the wide shins and the really squat midget ankles. Not ankles, thighs. Squat thighs. So, in the wide ass feet. So, this is Wheeljack and a Convoy saying, see you later. One more review left. No, actually, this is the final review for this, so stay tuned right after this for the Anime Expo videos. Alright, Wheeljack. What the hell did you invent now that's so important this late at night? Well, Prime, got something good here. Yeah, besides turning side swap into Red Alert. Hey, I am Red Alert. Right. Anyway, Prime, here is my new invention. Sea Spray. We already had a guy named Sea Spray. A little goggle breath. Yeah, this is him, Prime. This is the upgraded sea spray. How do you do, guys? Holy crap, that's how he sounds like without the gargling. Or uh, I prefer the old one. Yeah, 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 me too. He, he, he frightens me. Everything frightens you, Red Alert. That's not true. Whiny bitch. Alright. Prime. What do you say about him? About Red Alert being a bitch, I agree. No, no. I mean, sea spray. Well. Is he combat ready? Yeah. 
Can you wash the dishes? Yeah. Can you make food? Yeah. I'll take 20. What? I don't like the sound of this. Woohoo! Ah, crap. Yeah, that reminds me. Little Jack, why the hell are you right next to a pool? Shut up.